Hi, Chris Wallace from Second Swing. We're in Carlsbad, California today with TaylorMade. We're with Chandler Carr. We're talking about brand new M5, M6 products, exciting time. Yep. We're specifically going to talk right now about the fairway woods and rescues. And there's been a lot of changes in this product line, starting most noticeably with the M5 fairway wood, which is now titanium. Yeah, definitely. You know, you know, we want to make sure that when we develop any product, it has to perform, right? And when we knew that we're embarking on introducing twist face into the fairways and rescues for the first time, but we're also uh, using titanium again in a fairway wood. And, you know, as a golfer yourself, and if you remember back in the day when titanium fairway woods were a thing, what happened? They got really big and they, <laughs> they, they actually spun a lot and they really didn't go that far. I mean, they, they may have been forgiving just because they were big, but there was really no optimization taking place by using titanium. With the M5 fairway now being titanium, we're not making the, the club really any bigger. We're using it because it's 44% lighter than steel. And that allows us to really optimize CG and really help the, uh, the launch easier, give you more distance because of that, that optimization with the CG. No, it's not really the titanium that's making it go further, but it's, it's the weight savings that we get with the titanium that allows us really to optimize your flight. And we're doing that with a 65 gram movable weight. Yeah, and you, you talked about it. It's, it's amazing to be able to move this much weight in the sole and you've got three positions. You can have a neutral, a draw, or a fade. With those three positions, you have you know your draw, your neutral, and your fade. But within that, you have you actually have a total of seven positions that you can actually shift that weight around. And when we're you know when you're moving 65 grams of weight, you know you're, you can affect that ball flight quite a bit. Yeah. You know by going what may not look like a big movement in terms of how this weight moves within the channel of the of the, of the fairway wood here, you're actually going to get a pretty significant change in your flight based on that. And uh, unique also, like you mentioned, was with this being titanium, it's lighter, but the shape of that fairway wood is really sort of tour inspired. A, yeah. a good player is really going to love the way that the profile of that club. It definitely has to check the boxes uh, for all players, right? You know, if we want the best in the world to use it, they're not going to want to use a big gaudy looking three wood. You know, it has to, has to look great from a dress, has to look good, has to have proper turf interaction. Uh, the shaping was really an important part of this fairway wood because has to perform on all levels, from CG to the twist face to, um, you know, the looks really play a big part of that, and that's what really gives us confidence to swing harder and to hit it straighter. It's, it has to look good. So we spent a lot of time not just to make something big, but to make it look right at a dress. And you mentioned it briefly, and we're going to talk about it now, not unique just to the M5, but in the M5 and M6 fairway woods for the first time in fairway woods, twist face has yep. been brought into it. Yeah, so we knew when we launched twist face with M3 and M4 drivers, we knew that twist face was a technology that we needed to further develop um, to work with the fairway wood. You know, we didn't launch uh, M3 and, and M4 with twist face because we knew that when you're dealing with the fairway wood or a rescue for that matter, the curvature actually has to be different uh, to work with the fairway wood. You know, we're not dealing with a big face, we're dealing with a smaller face, we're dealing with a smaller head with lower MOI properties. So we actually had to adjust the face curvature relative to the club that it's actually in. So we have a degree and a half of twist in this. So it actually has more twist than a driver because you really need more twist because you're dealing with a smaller area. And the M6 fairway wood doesn't have the movable weight, but it's stepping into some big shoes because M2 and M4 were just unbelievably popular in those categories. Yeah, those are powerhouse clubs. You know, they went a long way. They're designed to be easy to hit. They're designed to launch high. They're designed to go a mile. And we had a tough task to really beat M4. And we're able to do that by having a, a little bit larger head. We're adding twist face to that again. Our speed pocket uh, activates the bottom of the face to make it launch high with less spin, make it more forgiving. Um, the fact that we're able to position that weight low and deep in the head, just like the driver, makes this thing easy to launch and really easy to hit. And brand new in M6 is there's gonna be a D-type fairway wood for those golfers that struggle with that slice or that block. Yeah, you know, we really listened to the customers when we launched the D-Type product uh, back in M2. We knew that people would say, hey, I, I got my driver, it works great, but where's my fairway wood? Well, now in, in the M6, we do have a, a D-Type fairway, which actually has more loft than the standard one and also has more drop bias built into it to keep you, you know, from slicing your fairways too. So that's a great addition. So what would your advice be to somebody maybe who's going to make a decision 
maybe not have the chance to do as much testing as they like between M5 and M6 for the fairway wood. How would you sort of point a player in the right direction to pick between the two? Well, you know, I always like to um, ask the question is that what's most important to you? Are you looking for maybe more accuracy or do you want that more tour inspired shape or do you purely say, hey, I need help getting the ball off the, off the ground. I need help getting advancing the ball forward. And I would say if you want maximum forgiveness, you're going to go either M6 or M6D type. And if you know that you can benefit from adjustability and you know you have a specific shot shape that you want to maybe um, get rid of, then the M5 is going to be the way you want to go. And of course, in addition to the fairway woods in the M6 line, we also have a brand new M6 rescue. Tell us a little bit about that club. Yeah, definitely. You know, a rescue club, you know, is really kind of an iron replacement for golfers who need help getting the ball up in the air or, you know, attacking that par three or simply just advancing the ball down the fairway. So with the M6 rescue, we incorporated twist face to work actually with the geometry of a rescue style club. So it's got more twists than a driver. And then we have some new loft options as well. So we got a three, a four, a five, a six, and now a seven. And you know, we're really trying to cater to the golfer who needs as much help as they, they can kind of in that longer part of their iron set. You know, if they need help getting the ball up or out, you know, we have options for everybody now. Yeah, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, you know, previously with M1 and M3, there was a specific rescue version, but now you feel like Gapper has really sort of filled that role. Yeah, and I'm really glad you asked that question too, because there is no M5 rescue, and we, you know, when we launched Gapper, we knew that that kind of more technical golfer can really benefit from three head shapes and also the, the loft sleeve to really um, adjust ball flight. So that more technical golfer who would maybe want, you know, the M5 driver or fairway, the Gapper is a terrific solution for that, you know, kind of higher end or that, you know, stronger player. And it'll give them three options in terms of the flight conditions they're looking yeah, for. Yeah, high, mid, and low. Yeah. Yep. Chandler, good stuff. We yeah, appreciate it. Thank Thanks. you. Appreciate it.